Are you tired of getting a face full of smoke while sitting around the campfire? Well, we found a product that allows you to enjoy a raging fire without filling your lungs full of soot. We just purchased a solar stove portable fire pit and we're going to test the flame heat and duration against a regular fire pit. And you're going to want to stay to the end because we purchased a special attachment and it is way cool. All right, now that we have all the pieces out, this particular model we have here is the Bonfire. It is the middle size. They make a smaller one called a Ranger and a larger one called the Yukon. This one is 14 hop by 19 across. Now, it's pretty simple to assemble. This is the base, and the bottom of this has an indentation where the base fits in. So I shall slide this until it fits, and there it is nice and stable and then we have this fire ring and it goes on the top after you light the fire you place it here and it helps with airflow the solar stove bonfire is stainless steel it has a double wall construction and inside the ring there are air holes so the air can pass through your fire and thus makes it very hot and when you're done it's easy to stow away we just remove the fire ring Remove this from the stand, place the stand inside, flip our fire ring upside down, and then place it in this handy storage bag. And there you have it. And it fits easily into our storage compartment on our rig. We purchased this prepackaged wood so that we'd have the same wood for both fires. We'll count out the pieces so it's equal. We're also going to use three sticks of this Dura flame for each fire pit. I'm going to give John a head start because he's got that fire pit. I have a feeling that the solo stove is going to do better. So one of the problems that we've experienced with fire pits, when we take a large piece of firewood and put it into the fire, it sometimes smothers it, especially at the very beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a large piece and put it on my solo stove. You take a large piece, put it in your fire pit. All right, let's do it. Pretty much burnt. I know. That's why people toss them in there. <laughs> Ooh. My fire is dying down a little bit since I put that piece, big chunk of wood on it. And it looks like John's. Mine is about the same. Mine is just consuming this wood. And John is gonna have to stoke his a little bit. <laughs> this is so cool. And John's fire. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's no comparison. It's a crazy burn, John. Those logs. <laughs> it's nice and warm, too. <laughs> now, keep in mind, we purchased this solo stove on our own. No one sent it to us. It wasn't a freebie. We put our own money out for it. This is nice. It was an expensive purchase, but so far, I'm thinking it's well worth it. That's hot. This is not as hot. <laughs> and we have the same amount of wood in both. Yep. I'm gonna put another piece of wood on my fire, my raging fire. The only thing about this, John, is I'm a little scared to do it. I know, the flames are coming up pretty high. These <laughs> flames are coming up pretty high and I'm afraid that I'm gonna burn myself. Yeah. So I'm just gonna very carefully kind of slide it in there and hope that it lands in a good spot. <laughs> you said slide. I did slide here, it in there. Here. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. I got this. Oh, I, you I good. got this, John. I got. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> you might slip and actually hit me. That's true. Okay, so we did our flame test. I think it's obvious which one has a better flame. 
The next thing we promised you was the heat test. So we're going to do the toasty toes test, which basically is we're going to start with our chairs up close to the fire pit, and then we're going to gradually move them away, and we're going to see where we lose our heat. Give us a second, we'll set it up, switch the camera, and we'll be right back. Okay, let's go right up to the flame first. This is really hot. <laughs> this is barely hot. This is super warm. <laughs> and not only is it super warm, it's a little uncomfortable because the flames are coming right at me. That's true. They're very close. So I'm going to want to move back. How's yours, John? It's moderately warm. I mean, it's not bad. Okay, let's prove that. Switch. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, I don't know if I can sit here. How does it compare, John? Oh, oh my gosh, this is hot. Okay. This is roasting. I'm going to move mine back five feet. Oh. <laughs> All right, five feet back. I can still feel the heat. I can't. It's over there. I can see it. <laughs> Switch. <laughs> so I make sure we're telling the truth, right? <laughs> Oh, you do still feel a little heat from here. I feel the solo stove fire over here. <laughs> this side of me is warmer. I feel nothing from this. Yeah. So, John, what would you say about the distance toasty toes test? I'd say this is much warmer. I agree. I mean, I'd have to build that into a bonfire to get this kind of heat. So we're going to take a quick break so that John can tend to his dying fire. It's not dying. Okay, so we have one more category? Duration. Duration. So we're going to see how long each of these burns, right? I'm, John's down to three pieces of wood. I've got a good four pieces of wood, so I'm going to throw another one in now. And we'll see how long they burn for. <laughs> that is, oh my gosh. One thing that I do notice is that it's a little windy today. The wind's blowing in this direction. And standing over there where the camera is, there's a lot of smoke. It smells like wood burning, but it's much cleaner. There still is a little bit of smoke that's being generated from this fire, but nowhere near as much as that one or as dark as that one. Like I can stand here on the opposite side where the wind is blowing and I'm not coughing or gagging or anything like that. Now, while these fires are burning, we should also let you know that there are lots of different types of accessories that come with the solo stove. One of which is that you can buy a screen that covers the top of the stove. I'll show you a picture of it right here. And that keeps the sparks from flying. But not just that, there are certain campgrounds in certain states that will not allow you to have your own fire pit without it having some sort of a screen over the top to prevent sparks. So you can purchase that for the solo stove. And don't forget to stay to the end because we have a really cool accessory that we purchased from Solo Stove and we want to share that with you. And if you're enjoying our content, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And smash that like button. And as always, we love your comments. Please let us know what you think. If you have a solo stove, what you think about it. Please let us know what you think about this challenge. Please let us know how you feel about campfires, whether or not the smoke bothers you at all. <laughs> now we're going to put in our last piece of wood. Oh, see? I saved the biggest for You're, last. You were cheating. That's not cheating. We had our, our wood was the same. You just decided to put all your big ones in first. <laughs> Poker. Uh, you might want to do it the other way. <laughs> yeah. So that's our last piece of wood. We're going to let these both burn down, and we're going to see which flame lasts longer. We're going to wait. All right, fine. I guess at this point, we can see, obviously, which one burns better on the same amount of wood. This one's still nice and hot and burning fiercely, and this is kind of fading out. Although, it is still hot in the coals here, but I have to stand right next to it. That one I don't have to. 
what is this way cool accessory that we just purchased from Solo? <laughs> Here it is. It is the Bonfire Grill Accessory Bundle. Now those of you who watch us regularly know that we have a Blackstone, but I really miss doing things on the grill. So this accessory will let us do that. John, why don't you show them how it goes on there. First, we have this lovely ring. I believe they call it a hub. It is a hub. And this is the cast iron grill cooking surface. And then we place this. There it is, it's seated on top of the fire. And we have the added advantage that wherever we go, we'll be able to cook on this. And uh, can't really cook over that as easily. For another one of our videos, click here.